Welcome back, YouTube. So in this video, I want to talk about what's next in our short term uh, bullish movement and what we can look forward to or hope to expect uh, coming up this week. Now, I did mention uh, in my previous videos about uh, Doge being able to fill the trough here and which they have, which it has done. And we're certainly seeing some bullish movement as we've seen a couple rejections off of our 21 day moving average. That is this yellow line here. And we're pretty much trending with our 72 day moving average, which is really great because we broke that uh, previous trend that we were in um, of the lower highs. And hopefully here we're building up some, it looks like we're trending sideways here and building up some pretty, pretty much a floor here for the uh, next leg up, which is really great. Going forward, what we're looking for here is our, is our next step to get back into around like the 20 cent range is gonna be at around 15.8. Um, as you can see here, the last thing we were coming down, this was like what, what mid February. We had a pretty much a strong rejection here off of the 15.8 because after that, the next stop was around like 17. And then after that, of course, we were anything around like 17, I want to say 17.8 or so. Uh, after we break that, uh, we typically have our run up to around 22 cents. So that's typically like the last hardware. So technically speaking, we have about two levels between where we are now and um, breaking off into the 20s to see if the shorts are going to step up at around at that time. Typically, they step up between like 20, I want to say like um, 20 and a half to like 22 cents. And that's typically those, that's those two spikes, those two very long spikes you see here that um, with the long wicks on the candles, that's typically when shorts step up and uh, try and kill the momentum. Because after that, that's when you start having those rockets into like the, the mid 20s and possibly even the 30s. So that's really plays a really big deal. Um, going forward. So this week, what we're really looking for is to break above or at least come up and test this 15.8 level to see kind of where we stand. Uh, we haven't seen a sharp reaction from short. So again, they've just been moving more freely here, reacting to the way it's supposed to. So this is really indicative here to kind of show you how much influence short positions and stuff like that have on the price of a coin or on the price of a stock. It creates that negative uh, pressure, that downward pressure on a on an asset but as we can see doge is moving more freely here so this week we need to be focusing on around like 15.8 and see how doge respond but also keep an, um, an eye on those shorts as well just to make sure that they're not building up or becoming more aggressive because um that's the literally the next to last step before we break into the 20s here so that's the what to keep an eye on for this week if you want to hear more from me check out the previous videos on my channel like the video share it with a friend subscribe to the channel and don't forget to check out BlockFi. If you open an account with them, you can get up to $250 in some of your favorite crypto. And yes, that's including Bitcoin and Ethereum. I appreciate all of you. Thank you. And until next time.